So, are we ready to kill some heroes? Yes, we are. Pulling out the Naginata monks. These guys are just so much fun. Now, I guess before we get into the video, we, they are a premium unit, and there probably is a pretty reasonable question to say, are they probably a little bit powerful for a premium unit? But we did kind of cover that a little bit more in the last video. So today, we're mostly just going to be focusing on the unit. So, what are these guys all about, and what is it that makes them essentially so effective at killing heroes. If you haven't got these guys, I am sure you have probably come up against them in battle and have almost certainly died to them at least once or twice because they burst down heroes really, really effectively. So they're a tier 3 um, sort of glaive wielding unit, but they have really um, uh, sort of high damage essentially with the glaive. So you can see sort of the slashing 2000 AP which against enemy heroes is pretty much going to overwhelm most people's armor, so they're going to be applying that sort of full 1600 damage with it. They get two abilities, they get basically a charge. They run forwards and almost do like a, 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 a flying reaper type of effect, similar to kind of how the glaive hero does it. And if you get hit by this as a hero by more than one or two of the units, you're pretty much done for. The damage is insane. On top of that, they have this essential two ability where they almost like go into sort of a brace effect. Um, the damage kind of gets increased. It does damage to enemy cavalry, but it's also really effective against enemy infantry. Now, this is where last time when I used these units, I was really just focusing on the charge and did not make very good use of the two ability. So this time I was determined not to make that mistake again. And yeah, the two ability, this running strikes is really nice does make the unit really effective nice against heroes and against enemy units and so yeah makes them a really fun unit to use because they're a premium unit there is essentially only one veterancy line even though it's slightly split over two um, and then in terms of doctrines well it would be rude to not up that hero damage just a little bit more wouldn't it so we go went ahead and threw that on a little bit of health um, the blood defense increase is pretty irrelevant because their defensive stats are just so low a breakthrough doctrine we could have stuck a better version of this on i was just trying to not spend so much lotus water moving all my doctrines around a little epic, epic damage doctrine just for the extra base um slashing damage really and a little bit of health and of course a bit of extra slashing damage from a damage slashing damage doctrine wow that was a tongue twister um so yeah nothing particularly special in terms of doctrines just these two i guess bumping up that hero damage that little bit more so yeah they're really all about killing heroes Good against units, but uh, absolutely terrible against anything sort of ranged. They have no shield. They do actually have 11,000 hit points, but it certainly doesn't feel like it when they go into battle. And no defensive stats. They burn. You know, if they run against Rattan uh, Marksmen, they just get like, cut to pieces like in a machine gun fire. So, yeah, anything like that, they just get cut to pieces. And we'll probably see that in some of our clips today. Anyway, so let's just hop into some battles. So we kick things off on a bit of Riverlands. We are on the attack and the team kind of makes the move and they decide to rush the tower. There's obviously a lot of stuff still up on the top so I'm just basically ignoring it, pushing straight on. We come up, group of enemy heroes, no choice, let's go straight in and bang, double hero kill. <laughs> These guys are so brutal. We do then get stuck into a unit of uh, Prefecture Guards in drill mode. Now, this is more of a struggle. Thankfully we do have team support. I stick the unit onto the two uh, ability which does make them more effective and we do clear them out. Next up, unit of shields, pull the naggers round to the right, push them in straight on with that two ability and they absolutely go to work on these shields. You can see how quickly and efficiently they cut through them, getting the bulk of the damage. <laughs> That's just so brutal, almost up to 40 kills. We don't quite get the kill on the longsword though, unfortunately. So we then kind of go on to push and rush for the B, um, but this is where you kind of see, unfortunately, the weakness of the unit. Because as we come around the corner, the enemy have got range set up here. And as the shots come in, I felt like I had no choice, but we've just got to, got to go at this point. And we take a lot of damage from the range. That short sword does a really good job of getting them knocked down just before my unit lands its swinging ability. And so really, they don't get many more kills in. And unfortunately, I didn't notice I had a bleed effect on me. And... Boop, there I go. <laughs> so kind of highlighting some of the strengths and weaknesses of the unit. Next up, we end up on Great Wall, a map I feel like I haven't played in, well, absolutely ages. But this is kind of what I have most fun doing playing this unit. It might not be the best use of the unit, but trying to bait enemy heroes in is, is just so much fun. <laughs> so I decided to go around the back way up into this top tower. There's currently no one here. 
Now, I almost want to be spotted. I want an enemy hero to sort of come for me and then try and basically get a hero on hero engagement and use the unit to kill them. That's what I'm trying to aim for here. Because the team isn't really ready to push in yet to the main area, if the team was making their push, I would come out and help. Anyway, you can sort of see me looking around a little bit, trying to see what's going on, trying to see if anyone is going to be interested in coming up. We get this musket, who I'm not entirely sure knew I was there, to be honest, and was <laughs> perhaps a little bit surprised, but obviously now does, and he's now kind of curious. So I'm trying to bait him sort of into the room, but I, I, I want to be aggressive because I want him to come in properly. We have a little look from another musket, but, you know, not really taking the fight. Uh, I don't want to deploy my charge too early. Then we get a dual blades. Now that is a lot more interesting. Now I'm making sure to stay inside my room so that the unit can come for me. The dual blade takes the bait. We go in with the charge. We don't quite get the kill, but as soon as the two ability goes on, the dual blade goes down and the musket goes down immediately after him. So we've got our first two hero kills. We then get another musket who does an annoyingly good job of setting me on fire. And we sort of give chase, but I don't want to chase him outside the confines of this tower. There's a lot of ranged out there in that courtyard, and that is really only ever going to end one way. We do get a um, chain dart and scimitar, which I was just way too slow to react at. If I'd got that flying reaper off earlier, or got the unit moving earlier, we could easily have had him. But he's still trying to play around, so I'm sort of thinking I'm tempted. But then the team starts to make their move. So I actually decide I'm going to come out. But this chain dart... Boop! <laughs> <laughs> makes a mistake, should we say. But then we see the weakness of the unit. We go in, we get our fourth hero kill, but the range, those Yang Yus that come in at the back, look at the flying knives coming at me, and they just butcher the unit super, super quickly. So we kind of see the unit is so great at killing heroes, and when you can get melee units and shields on their own, but as soon as those ranged come in, then they just get absolutely cut to pieces. Finally, we end up on a little bit of High Lungs Ford. Defending over down on the sea point, come back onto the supply point as we get a couple of enemies coming up the siege tower trying to take this supply point, swing around the corner, just go straight in for the charge. That poor longsword gets absolutely run over. They actually stick them then on the two point as a mall comes in behind that I didn't even see, so we grabbed a free second hero kill that I didn't even know was happening. Um, that pullback round didn't really fancy going down the ladder, a couple of just stray halberdiers to deal with, we can just use them on the two ability knocks them out quite comfortably. Then trying to decide where we want to go from here. Still got a few enemies kicking around on this siege tower ladder. Nearly get that maul, but he just manages to keep himself out of trouble and get out of the fight. In the end, decide to try and charge down the tower to see who we can get, and we do manage to grab ourselves another longsword to take our hero count to three, before I kind of think, oh, do I really want to be pushing down this tower? But as the team goes down, it kind of gets the better of me. I'm starting to think, Oh, maybe we should be going down here. There's not really a lot else going on. They didn't seem to be really pushing the sea point super hard. So I thought, ah, sod it. Let's just give it a go. And decide to try and start pushing down the tower. Get stuck into some of the mace sergeants quite comfortably. Try and get that longsword with the two ability, but it just manages to roll off the side of the tower. As we then get pushed by some of these mace sergeants coming up. Annoyingly, can't quite get the charge to land as much as I'd like. That maul does a really good job of damaging it. And then we're really clustered up, and the hero disruption is too strong, and we just can't fight through. And then we get ourselves caught, and this maul does a good job, gets behind me, so I can't even back out of the situation, and I meet my maker. So, yeah, the monks, really nice unit, really fun killing enemy heroes with them. Um, it still takes people by surprise, because the burst damage is just so high. I certainly highly recommend them. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's see you guys all on the next one.